All right, y'all, thank you for thugging it out through that long intro. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Janet Collection Perfect One Pack Solution. This is a temple closure, well, temple, uh, temple frontal, and I have it in 613. I have it in inches 10, 12, and 14 inch, which is the shortest that they do have, and they do come in longer lengths, but I got this one at 613, so y'all know what to do, like a little choppy little bob. Plus, it's the only hair available. Now, this hair is extremely soft, you guys. That is the 14 inch bundle, and it is extremely soft. I did have a little bit of shedding, but maybe it's the way I sew things. So, let me show you how this frontal is actually done. Um, You kind of got, it's kind of like a closure kind of method so what it was it doesn't have the thick um thick extra i guess protector or something so i wound up sewing on the lace but i didn't go into the hair so we're just going to sew around the lace to keep that um frontal attached to the cap that's basically what i did i didn't do anything special it's kind of like sewing down a frontal it is a frontal but it's kind of like sewing it down this guy just sewed around the perimeter of it which you will see in the video once i completely finish this look so now I am finished and you guys can see what I was kind of saying. We're stitching around the perimeter of the actual temple frontal and that's what I was saying. It's kind of like a U part but it has the edges on the side which definitely came in handy especially since I'm doing a color wig. I needed a little bit of baby hairs in the front so that's what the front of the hairline is looking like. And y'all all know how to sew hair on the track so I'm not even going to go into depth on how to sew it but I want to definitely show y'all how I sew down the temple frontal on this unit. Okay y'all this is what she's looking like. No color. We are going to color her. Um, this is actually an easy wig to make and I had enough hair. I do have this amount left and I will kind of practice with this to see if I want to get that particular color that we're going to do. But this is she. So y'all, I didn't have the big clear plastic tub that everybody has. I went to Dollar Tree and got a big ass bucket and some hot ass water from my uh, bathtub and that's how we're going to keep it pushing. It's going to be the same method, bucket, water, hair dye all in one same thing so i'm using the door cajun spice and cinnamon i use majority of the cajun spice and a little bit of the cinnamon to kind of deepen it up but y'all see me pouring all that cajun spice in there i didn't have a spoon so i actually use my comb and sorry for your background noise that's my mom but yeah i'm just gonna let it drip and then i'm gonna stir it around with my little comb i don't have a spoon so i mean it works the same way the hair color is getting maneuvered into the bowl so you see it's like a nice pretty bright orange i'm gonna add a couple of droplets of the um cinnamon as you can see to darken it up a little bit and it's going to turn very dark kind of looks like orange soda like a root beerish kind of thing going on just a little bit next i'm going to do is take my sample ple please piece of the 613 y'all i can't speak so it's gonna be a tongue-tied ass video <laughs> i'm just gonna take the little sample piece and i left it there for a couple of seconds y'all can see and then i kind of just like lifted it up to check the color and i'm like okay i need a little bit darker so i'm just gonna let you float for a little bit and kind of sink into the sunken place So once I saw the color wasn't exactly how I wanted it, I added a little bit more of the cinnamon to deepen up the orange because I didn't want it to be like so sherberty. I wanted it to be a little bit more chucky kind of, you know. <laughs> I just wanted it to be a little bit more darker than that. I might do a, a little creamsicle kind of color, but this orange one is the bomb. I know it's going to gradually get lighter as time goes on. So I just swirled another piece in there and I'm kind of like yeah i'm just gonna let that sit a little bit more to see if it gets a little bit darker which that will happen once you do um add the hair in it will get a little darker if you let it sit some more and i'm like okay this might be the perfect color so i'm just gonna throw my wig in just throw her in just throw the whole wig away and i'm just gonna dump her in this tub at first i was a little scared i'm like okay i may need a big tub like everybody else i'm like you know what i'm about to make her work just shake her ass in that damn bucket and just let her sit a little bit more so i let 
to soak a little bit more longer and it probably was like four minutes or whatever so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna comb through and make sure how she's doing good you know y'all can see my little nappy edges like i just looked busted before this video y'all and i just want to comb through it so all the color can kind of evenly distribute throughout the wig because i don't want any blotchy spotches spotches spots i don't want any blotchy spots um with this wig so i'm just kind of combing her and she still went back to that body wave that she is because she is some body wave here and i like that i'm just going to add a little bit more of the um cajun spice to the water and i'm basically kind of poured the whole damn bottle in there um as you saw the water was a little bit lighter so i wanted to deepen it back up because you know the hair color kind of not the hair color but the hair actually kind of soaked up a little bit of it but i wanted to soak it up a little bit more we're just gonna stir it up after i let it drip, drip. into the bucket and i'm gonna let it sit in there it looks like some coca-cola now the root beer coca-cola whatever i'm just gonna throw it back in there so she can get a little bit more darker because she ain't ready yet she ain't ready yet but yeah y'all i let her probably sit in there collectively throughout all those trials probably five minutes a piece not even that long because i went to the back talked to my mom went back came back and i let her sit and came back and checked on her I was like waiting for like a cake in the oven just kind of checking on her. It probably wasn't even five minutes. It probably was like two minutes. It really doesn't take that long for this hair to actually color. As y'all can see it is much darker than what it was before. Like I think I kind of like this color. But I know I'm probably going to sit it back in there for a third go round. So I probably let her sit in there for probably three sessions. Yeah. I let her go back in. I'm like okay you ain't done. And the water is still hot. So using extremely hot water definitely helps um i never tried it with cold water i've just seen this method done with extremely hot water so y'all i'm definitely loving this wig i am so i took her out and i'm just making sure everything's done thing i did notice that the actual track didn't turn that color which i may have to go in with the dye i'm gonna let her sit in there again i guess maybe that's my fourth time letting her sit in the bucket but um i noticed that the tracks did not turn you know the orange color so i may have to go in with the actual dye so i'm just blow drying her now i did not rinse her out or condition her i don't know if you're supposed to but i didn't because i wanted this color to stay very vibrant my hair doesn't feel stiff or hard at all whatsoever because a door i don't know a door rinses are really conditioning and soft to the hair so that's why i kind of stick with that one but i may venture off the other ones but i love a door a door is the shit Then I'm going to curl her with my Irresistible Me Diamond um, Flat Iron. And I'm just going to do some little, small little ringlets or whatever. Just to give the hair a little bit of definition. Because I kind of want to go straight. But then I was like, nah, I'm just going to add a little more body to her. And give her a little polish. Because she looked a little, a little different from the blow dry. She wasn't completely there. But y'all, I noticed that that flat iron was peeling i don't know that's probably why i was blowing at it but it looks definitely so much better when some heat got to her i don't know it just it just made it look all good and glossy and all that all good stuff
y'all this is the final results of the watercolor now this hair is really pigmented i didn't think it was going to come out this way but i think i prefer this method better than wasting about eight bottles of dye on one head um i did test it out like i told like i showed y'all not told y'all like i showed y'all in the video this was like the first few seconds it would have been like a bright pumpkin kind of color and then um yeah it was like two of them that i tested out this was the color I was like, I'm going to add a little bit of more of that cinnamon so I can deepen it up a bit. And the longer you leave the hair in, the darker the hair will definitely be. I know y'all are tired of seeing these watercolor videos, but y'all, this is how I'm going to be coloring my hair from now on. F*** that. If y'all tired of seeing that, that's on y'all. This is the easiest way for me to get this color. And like, everybody's doing orange, but last time I had orange was two years ago or a year two years ago possibly I did the orange hair and it was okay first time you know doing the frontals first time wearing orange hair I didn't really like it this one I didn't do any root to it I'm just wearing it all out it gives me Nicki Minaj Tiana Taylor old school Keisha Cole kind of vibes yeah so let me get into um the details on this hair this is the Janet Collection Brazilian bundle hair and I wind up getting it in the length um 10 12 and 14 inch um they do come in longer lengths and bundles but i want you to do something short and it was the only hair that was available i'm like you know i could probably do like a cute little bob which i may kind of chop it up and do it like an angle bob keep the front this length but kind of like cut the back a little bit because it's just one length i'll just turn around so you guys can see the actual length of it but it's like the 14 kind of you know 14 kind of sits a little so it's a little low y'all know i'm used to my 20 something inches but i was like you know i'm just doing to like a nice little angle bob which thinks we definitely cute um it is the brazilian bundles and it's 100 percent natural virgin remy human hair so it's unprocessed human hair um this is platinum diamond on there so i did get 613 this is the perfect one pack solution so it's 11.3 ounces of hair and you actually got a frontal with it let me tell you about this frontal the frontal is not like your casual frontal. It will protect the hairline. Y'all, I don't have this wig on glued at all. I just have it gelled on. So if y'all see my real hair kind of sticking out, that's why. So I'm going to show y'all how this frontal goes. It's kind of like a closure with extended sides, I would say. So let's see if I can section it out. How the closure goes. It kind of goes like a U part, I would say. This is how the closure goes. But then the frontal part is the edges if you see what i'm saying like this is my track that i sewed onto the cap and all of this is frontal but it goes into a u shape so you kind of have to watch how you lay your tracks and the styles that you wear because you will definitely be exposing your track a little bit so i kind of don't like how the frontal was made if it was made like a natural frontal with more not natural frontal but like a usual frontal that has more space back here instead of just here and here i would say it's kind of like a closure so you have to kind of watch your um parting like i have to kind of cover my tracks when i'm wearing this style I'm like should i do a center part should i do a flip over i'm like i'm just gonna do like a little toss over bang but you can part this hair i want to find a comb and we're going to section off this hair so y'all can see the actual the actual scalping of it. i did not bleach the knots at all i'll just do a finger finger part i did not bleach the knots at all i didn't do anything to the hair but just color it i didn't pluck it i just added a couple of baby hairs and just swoop swoop and that's basically how i did i didn't glue it down like i told y'all just swoop some little baby hairs down and that's all but if you do want to use um some glue the janet collection eat your bond lace glue we have absolute and firm absolute is the all day lasting one that you want for i would say about two weeks that you can wear for two weeks and the other one is more like if you want to wear for like a couple of days which is firm so i definitely have a review on i believe both of the units yes both of the um glues you can definitely check that out i will have it linked below as well but next time i will glue her down but y'all i have to go to work and we cannot wear colors like this at work but i wish we could i probably could get away with her if she had dark rooting but i don't want to put no dark rooting on here y'all i want her to be like a a orange bombshell like i don't want to change that at all whatsoever and y'all this hair is very affordable um 613 hair can be very 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 expensive um i'm definitely going to start getting that little packet anytime i want to do some color hair 
and kind of make me some wigs and do the watercolor method. Y'all, in this video, y'all will see that I did not rinse the hair out. A lot of people condition their hair and wash it out. I kind of wanted it to be this color, so I didn't do that. And even when I was blow drying it, it didn't drip like an orange type color at all whatsoever so i didn't have any problems with that or transferring onto my hands but this janet collection hair is some decent hair you guys like for a 613 i was scared like i said at first because it was shedding a little bit but it's perfectly fine i didn't lose any of this dullness i was kind of scared because when i blow dried it kind of like chucky but once i kind of put a little um you know a little love and a little bit small little bit of oil sheen to the hair the hair was boom right back flowy so y'all can't say oh she got a stiff wig she has, it may be stiff up front because i kind of wanted it to sit up top and have like my little zoom zoom boom boom type bang so that's the only part that should be stiff because i did spray some um hairspray on the hairline but everything else is flowy you guys because i don't want to hear about she got a stiff wig she got a stiff wig oh oh nowhere stiff wig where where <laughs> but yeah definitely you guys check out Janet collection I will have them linked below y'all have seen I've been partnering with them a lot they have some bomb ass stuff so do not sleep on Janet collection whatsoever you can get synthetic wigs human hair I think they even have crochet hair everything so definitely check out Janet collection for all of their items so hopefully you did enjoy this video I will have another video coming up I'm definitely going to be showing you how I curled this hair in another video again because I felt like I didn't do any justice in this video like I did like little small curls because my battery was dying but this is the last time y'all gonna be seeing her she's gonna be on a couple of the videos she's gonna be making her appearance in probably this whole fall because um I'm feeling myself with this color y'all it's Jessica Rabbit is kind of you know so hopefully you do enjoy this video i will see you in the next one definitely click those links below where you can check out this hair and all the other products that we use in this video and i will see you in the next one